Howdy YouTube, this is Rock, and in this edition of Heroes of the Storm, we're going to be playing Sergeant Hammer. This time around, we're going to do a little something different. We're going to build for hero damage instead of siege. So stick to the end of the video to see if I can break 40,000 hero damage. Peace. Alright, howdy YouTube, this is Rock, and on this edition of Heroes of the Storm, we're going to be playing Sergeant Hammer. Now, I used to play a lot of Sergeant Hammer when I first started playing Heroes of the Storm. I haven't played her in a long time, and I know she's had some changes, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this goes. Now, Sergeant Hammer, um, her big thing is that she is a siege machine. Um, if left alone, she can push a lane really hard, and that's because of her range. Um, so to go over her abilities here, uh, the first ability we have is her Q ability, which is called Spider Mines, and you can see this green area is where you can place the mines. You place them down, and three spiders will sit down. And what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to give you a defensive line while you are sieged up in your tank mode, which is... Um, your E ability, which I'm going to get to. Your W ability is Concussive Blast. And you can see that's a cone. And what that does is it pushes enemies back. So if they get close to you, you can push them back. Now the E ability, which I just talked about, is her Siege ability. And as she seeds up, she can't move. But she has much further range. But she's also really vulnerable. Um, like I said, she can't move, so she can really start taking some good damage if uh, people really push in on her. So, like, if uh, we come over here, we siege up, we can see that blue line is her range. Anything within that area of effect, um, she can attack. Now, the thing is, she can siege up and attack towers without them attacking her which is why she's so powerful as a sieger now if people just leave her alone she's just going to siege up take down these towers no problem throw down some spider mines throw a concussive blast knock them back clear them off but if nobody actually bothers her she could just sit here all day long just taking these towers down and the and the forts and everything. She just has more range than her, than um, any of them. And as you see, I'm just taking out Arthas here. So her first heroic ability um, that I definitely prefer is called um, everybody just loves calling it the BFG. It's blunt force gun. Um, so if we use it, you can see it has tons of range. And in fact, what I'm going to do. Before I use it, I'm going to get out of my siege. I'm going to go back to the base here, and I'm going to use it just so you can see. It can literally shoot the entire map. And you can see it shooting across, and it's going to hit that tower and fly off the map. So it's huge. You can really aim it a lot and shoot quite a distance with it. Alright, so we're going to reset our talents here, and then we're going to um, choose her other one, which is Napalm Strike. You deal 360 points of damage, this is a level 20, mind you, and leaves a Napalm area that deals damage over time. So we're going to take that, and we're going to show you that. Now you can see, not quite as range, but we're going to drop it. It's just going to sit there and do a bunch of damage. So if you're in a team fight, you know, you could drop the napalm, and it's just going to do a whole bunch of damage, um, especially if you can catch a lot of people in it. Um, so those her, are her abilities, um, and uh, as you see, her talent is uh, her artillery. Uh, basic attacks deals 30% more damage to distance here, uh, enemies. So if you're at the range of her distance, she's doing more damage to them than if they were close up. Now the other thing that I'm going to point out is that she does not have a mount. Obviously she's in a tank. So what she has is jets. So if she's in trouble, 
and she needs to get away, you can shoot these jets for a short burst. I think it lasts uh, four seconds, but you get 60% additional speed, which is twice as fast as normal uh, mount. Normal. Okay, we got the Garden of Terror today. So if you've never been on the Garden of Terror map today, uh, the what, you has, what happens is that during night phases, um, you're going to have these little shamblers that are going to spawn and you have to collect up a hundred seeds to be able to get a terror to grow on your side. Um, so, let's see. We got Nova, Artanis, Rainer, Sergeant Hammer, and Nubarak on, on the friendly side. On the enemy side we have Falstad, Artanis, Nova, Tychus, and Arthas on the enemy side. Um, so today I'm going to try to show off a sieging build here uh, to see how well we do. Um, so to start with at level one uh, we're gonna go with our advanced artillery. So let's come down here if we can sneak into this bush here we can actually start sieging right up here. And if they leave me alone and these guys are distracted I can just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And we're going to zoom out of there. Grab a little sippy cup. Heal back up. And honestly, if they just keep leaving me alone, I'm just going to siege right back up and take down this tower. Because there's really not a whole lot they can do about it. And we're going to zoom out of here. Come up here to this side. Siege up to this side and start taking down this tower too. I'm going to set up some mines up here just in case Nova comes through on the top and starts pushing at me. But there's no reason. Alright. So we're going to unsiege up here. We're going to be moving with the team. Uh, siege up because we do extra damage to Arthas here. Push him back and get back out of siege. And we already have the first wall down, which is sp is spectacular. That's kind of what we want to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help out here. We're gonna get in this bush, siege up, and just start attacking this terror here, or anybody that gets within range. Get out of here, get out of here! Uh, oh, and they got me. Come on, get him! Get Tychus! Get Tychus! There we go. Nice job. They killed me, but that was okay. So I'm gonna come down here and do this again. All right, level four. You know what? We're doing we're doing a lot of uh, hero fights to start with, and this is actually a hero fight map. So I'm actually going to switch tactics, and I'm going to do a little bit of a hero ba uh, build, fight build. So we're going to do focus attack for hero damage. See, jump, and we're just going to be doing more damage. Get within range. Alright, so what Focus Attack does is that every 10 seconds your basic attack against a hero deals 60% more damage. So we're doing hero fights, so you know what? I'm just going to promote that. I'm just going to do tons of damage if they let me, if they get within my range. And we're going to zoom out. Come back, siege up, do damage. More damage. Come on, stay within range. Yeah, let me shoot you. Yeah. And that's what we want to see. 
If they let you, if they let you, then I'm just going to sit there and just do more damage and more damage. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually park right here. This is a nice little hiding spot for taking out the terror here for Sergeant Hammer. Just going to plow in here. We can pop in some mines on the other side. And really what I'm here for is just the damage. Arthas, you want to sit in my range? Fine. I can take you. I can do more damage for you. And of course they're shooting me. So I'm going to get out of here. I see you've survived another night. How wonderful. And I am almost dead. So I'm going to sneak in here. And hearth out. And take its power. Sneak into the bush and get out of here. Just like that. Now, I do not want to take the ter terror. I want somebody else to take it. Your terror is starting to wilt. I'd heard Your enemy has And they're coming up here. The terror shall sap the life from your enemy. So we're going to siege up and just start doing damage. Anybody within range. Oh, and they backed off. So level 7 with this build. Let's see, what do I want to do? I want to do slowing mines. I think I want to do first aid to be able to last through the fights longer. Or for a longer period of time. And we're just going to start pushing with this, uh, with this guy here. Siege up. And if this is the real one, which is not... Artanis, going to sit in my range. Nova, going to sit in my range. And I'm out of here. No. Oh. Well, we're dying a lot. How are we doing? We got 16,000 hero damage so far, and we're six minutes in. That's the highest out of the entire team. But what we're going to do is we're just going to stick with the team. We're behind on XP. We really should be like soaking lanes and stuff. I'm going to actually come up here, I think. Siege up and just shoot Artanis. Back him out of here. If you're gonna just let me do it, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, just stand there. That's all. There you go. And we're just gonna clear these guys out. And let's come down here. We got the seeds. So we're just going to shoot these guys. And level 10. Since we're focusing on hero damage, we're going to do Napalm Strike. really just focusing any hero here. 
Tarth out of here. Let him know I'm on my way. And what are we at? We're at 26,000 hero damage. Look at this hero damage that I'm racking up. So we're going to siege up here and just try to take these guys out. It's over for now. And don't get too comfortable. The infested will return again. All right, so let's come up here, grab a sippy cup, and siege up. Come on, come within range. So level 13, uh, with this one we're gonna go with a giant killer, so we're just gonna be doing more damage, more damage, and more damage to our heroes. I'm going to take this camp, which is really the uh, the best thing to do. And we should come up here and take this one. She got me with her snipe. How we doing? 33,000 points of hero damage. We're losing. We're three levels behind, almost two levels behind. But this is the potential that you can have with Sergeant Hammer doing a hero build. Or doing a hero damage build. You could just be putting out so much damage. Nightfall. In 30 seconds. Are you ready for some of the Ready to go. Move it or lose it. Why is Nubarak just standing there? Alright, I don't know. Well, let's come up here. There's a little bit of a fight. Clear out these guys. A hero has given in. Back for more, hero. Good. Rock and roll. And we're just going to sit here, throw out some mines, keep my eyes open to see if anybody else is coming. So level 16, we're going to go with Executioner. 
Extra damage to slowed heroes. And they just focused me right in the middle there. Why do you delay? No terror lasts forever. Embrace your terror. Trust me, it's a lot of fun. Your enemy has spawned a terror. Interesting. Your terror has withered. Such a waste. Good job, guys. Nice. That was totally a waste. Wow. I don't know what's going on with our team. I'm not really sure what's going on with the new Barak there. He keeps coming in and out of game. But this is showing off the potential for this build. I think this is going to be GG right here. But this is showing off the potential for this build. If we had a little bit more coordination with our team, you, we could have done a lot better. But I did, as a sieger, I did the highest hero damage out of everybody um which was phenomenal i mean that's the kind of build that you can do with uh, with sergeant hammer and that wraps up another video give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below for any heroes you like to see or builds you want me to try out i read them all if you want to know when my new content comes out subscribe and stalk me on social media thank you for watching and we'll see you in the nexus